Bonjour guys, how's it going? I uh, putting on the Lucky Camo hoodie. I got the Lucky Camo sweatpants on. We got the full RDS tracksuit. We're styling somewhat. We're gonna try to get a grand slam. I told you guys I might not overnight this weekend, but what's seven in a row? Let's do it. So uh, we're gonna look for some burbot overnight. Look at that hair, wow. Is this a new style? Am I balding? What is that? Anyways, we're looking for uh, some burbot overnight, but some pike, walleye, and perch, and maybe even a whitefish would complete the grand slam of this lake. So let's get after them, guys. Let's waste no more time. We got to the lake, I don't know what time it is, almost 11 o'clock. So uh, we're going to be staying till late tomorrow. It's going to be a good time. Let's get after them. Booga booga! All right, guys. So we're on the overnighter, and guess what? We did it. Verbal herb. That's gonna taste mighty fine. Not a giant by any means, but probably a, I don't know, what do you think, 25, 26 inch bourbon? Absolutely, I'd say 25 for sure. Me and Corbin are pounding the glow jigs. We'll show you guys what we're using soon, but uh, it's 11.30, and we think the bite's about to turn on, so let's get after him. Let's get after him, brother. All right guys, so we're just packing up to head out of here, but uh, we didn't have much luck last night. Things were a little slow, it's starting to snow now, but uh, this was the ticket. So this is just a PK, I think it's a 3 8 ounce or half ounce spoon, glow spoon. Jig head, or on the treble there, I got a, a minnow head and the minnow tail just draped on there. And the flasher was key for the night bite, but uh, unfortunately we weren't able to get on more. So let's go cook this one up and show you how we do it. All right guys, so we got our nice burbot here that we caught the other night on the ice. And we're just gonna start by making an incision just around the skin, all the way around. It's nice to have a good sharp knife for that because you just wanna go through the skin. I don't cut very good circles, apparently. Once you do that, take your pliers, start pulling the skin off. All the way down the tail till it's gone. Then you grab the dorsal with your pliers again and lift. Comes out nice and smooth. I may have thawed this guy a little long, guys, but that's okay. We'll get rid of the guts now. So from there, guys, you can just follow that line where you pull the dorsal fin out of. Cut right down to his ribs. And once you get to his ribs, you just want to come out the side. So guys, we've stripped all the way down both sides. It gives us two nice long hunks. This one's kind of split in half, but I'm gonna cube it anyways from here out, and then we're gonna throw it in a salt water bath. And this guy, well, thanks mister. All right guys, so I got my fish sitting here and curing in the salt water bath. Just real quick, opened up his stomachs. Burbot, there's not a whole lot of specifics on them, so I'm always wanna check what they're eating. One, two, three semi-digested perch from fully digested, almost fully digested to a uh, nice fresh one. 
We got a half a smelt, so clearly he was on someone's tip up at some point. Not ours, because we couldn't get flags for the life of us. But we uh, know they're eating perch. I'm gonna probably fish something about this length. I don't know, two and a half inches or so next time. You know, just constantly trying to evolve and, and figure these fish out. So let's get our tools cleaned up. Let's let our fish bathe for about an hour or two, and then we'll get to cooking it. All right, guys, so I pulled my burbot out of the salt water bath, and I've rinsed it in the sink. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the strips and cut them into little bite-sized pieces like this. All right guys, so we got all our meat cubed up. We're gonna throw it back in this tray, and then we're gonna bring some water and Sprite to a boil. All right guys, so I'm just warming up some butter, super hot in this pan, not to burn the butter, but uh, what we're gonna do, as soon as this bourbon's done boiling, we're gonna throw it in this pan, sear it really quick, because I don't like chewy at all. I like to have a little bit of crisp. But then I'm gonna melt some butter. Well, I'm actually gonna melt some butter right now in the microwave. And then, once it's done being seared, I got myself some poor man's lobster, and it is amazing, guys. So let's get to there. Remember, it's done boiling. Time to throw it in the butter. Ooh, we're gonna throw it in the butter. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I'm enjoying this burb right now. Mm. Mm. And I definitely highly recommend going out and catching some burbot guys. It's a blast, they fight hard, head shake hard, and they taste even better. So go out, get yourself one, try this recipe out guys, and let me know what you think in the comments below. And we'll catch you next time. And I think we're gonna cook again next time. Maybe some perch tacos.